Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blender JSON importer into 3.js. We're going to be looking specifically at how we can bring in animations, how we can use shape keys to manipulate the face and move a, uh, the vertices around on an object and how we can bring that file in and take a look at it in 3.js. Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to open up my copy of Blender over here. And I'm going to basically clear this whole scene out. Add a Suzanne face to it. All right, perfect. All right, we're going to need to come over here to our shape keys. Go ahead and start adding some shape keys. All right, here's our basic form on it, our shape key one. And let's edit this shape key. All right, here's our first look is going to be a surprised monkey. Maybe we'll perk these ears up a little bit too. That's nah, not gonna work. Come over here, enable our proportional editing. That way we get a little bit more of a surprise look. There we go. All right. So now you see we have two different values on that. If we come over here, you can see woo woo. In, out, in, out. Okay, great. All right, let's do another shape key. back in edit edit mode and we'll just have this one wriggle wrinkle the nose a little bit good on that one and then another one Have it go the other way. All right. So essentially, right now we have three shape keys. All right. The very first one is going to. Well, let me adjust this real quick. You notice if we go through here, we can kind of see all the different values and how these are kind of moving everything around. So let's go ahead and add it out of here. And we will take a look and see how that changes. So, surprise, not surprised. And then versus these over here. And we can kind of push and pull on the nose like so. Alright, cool. Alright, so next we need to hop over to our dope sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this slightly. And bring another window over. Come over to Dope Sheet. And under Dope Sheet, we're going to switch this to the Shape Key Editor. Alright, so from here now we can start inserting frames into here. We're going to go to 0 to 250 right now. So let's insert our first keyframe using the I key on our basis. Alright. All right, so insert a frame. It says so that inserts our first frame. We'll go up a few seconds. And then we will insert another one right over here. Come back down. Let's wriggle the nose a little bit. Let's 
This is going to be a little bit of a bewitch type thing, I think. And then we'll come back over and end on 250. All right, let's take a look at and see how that looks. So we're going to do a quick playthrough on that. All right, one thing I'm going to do is on the very last frame, I'm going to have it reset. So we don't get that little herky-jerky action. So we'll go to the very end. And we'll reset everything to zero. All right, let's try that again. See how that looks. Oop. Still not resetting. So it's 250. Let's delete some keyframes right here. This is getting a little funky. Oops. Try this again. All right, let's do this one more time. All right, here's our base frame. All right, next. Surprise. Wriggle the nose. Wriggle the nose the other way. More surprised. Bring it back down. Up again, why not? Bring on the nose. The nose. And then on 250, we bring it back down. Alright, let's try this. Let's see how that looks. All right, that looks good. Okay. <clears throat> now, one last thing I'm going to do. Um, why don't we gonna add a few more frames in here. We're going to turn on our auto keyframing. So I'm going to bring this over, this menu over, turn on auto keyframing. And the only thing I'm going to do at this point is... Set up a rotation on this a little bit. Let's have him look over. Oop. So I'm inserting a couple keyframes, get this guy to look around a little bit. And then we'll have him look back down. All right, Let's see how that looks. Perspective mode, play. All right, that looks good to me. All right, so we're happy with this animation. 
I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, I also make sure you create a material because if you remember correctly, that file we were working with before required a material. Go ahead and make this. What's the color of today? Today is gold. We will make the. Well, I'm going to bring down the specularity intensity zero on that. All right, hit save again. All right, export. Model folder. Box anime. All right, so things we need to check. Face materials we need to check. Embedded animation. Turn off the scene and check that morph animation. All right, that'll embed everything into our scene. Let's go ahead and export it into our box anime file. All right, so what this is going to do is it's going to bring in all the morph targets, which in other words is a big fancy word for bringing in all the vertices information and it's going to play that animation that's created so our JSON file if we take a look at it it's actually going to have like all of the actual morph animation um, in the file itself so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at that file just so you can see it go ahead and open that file up it's going to be a fairly large file now there's other way, methods you can do, but you can see how this is now showing us all these different targets. And you can see each one of these, animation one, this is gonna go all the way to 250, and shows where all the vertices are moving. So this file can get really large when you think about it. All the way down. All right, and then there is the rest of our information. Okay, so how do how do we animate this thing? Well, let's go ahead and look at our main folder. Here's our file. All right, so we'll look at the original um, <clears throat> file. And you can see we haven't really changed very, a whole lot into it, uh, the exception of just going through the materials and setting all the morph targets to true. Uh, the other thing we're adding is we're creating an, an animation variable and we're setting it as a new 3 dot morph animation and we're sticking our model in there. <clears throat> All right, and then we're hitting play. Now remember this function is getting call is a callback. It's actually getting called over in the um, in our actual uh, in our loader. So here's our loader and then our callback function right there. Uh, one thing to be aware of is a lot of people will write everything right in here. I'm just keeping this one separate for now. So, and we're just calling it. So it just makes it a little bit neat and more orderly to read. Uh, so that brings that in there. So we're hitting play on our animation. And then what we're doing is we're setting our previous time to the date now on it. And we are going to render it out. And we're going to say if there's an animation then the time is equal to the time now animation update time minus preview this is basically essentially all this is going to do is just uh, run through your animation and just can make sure that it continues to play on loop all right so this is actually really really simple um, only a couple things that you have to add so let's go and see how this thing looks all right so we'll hop over here and that's an old one I was messing around with whoop now it is going a little bit fast, um, and we can you can easily slow that down either by going through uh, adjusting the uh, the time at which the animation is running through in the file, or the other option is that you can actually adjust the um, the Blender file itself. Although uh, that'll make your file larger, so I'd suggest if you're going to go about slowing this thing down to actually do it uh, in the in the JavaScript right here. Now this again is called a morph target. There's other things that you can do uh, to keep the file size down lower, which is going to be a skeletal target um, in skinning, and we're going to look at that one next. Uh, but this is good for doing like kind of fixed geometry things, like lips moving, things like that, 
Uh, so that's kind of the whole idea behind it. Anyways, I hope this is really helpful. I'll post the code so you guys can look at it later. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe.